You see the claw marks, pretty good size. We were able to expose over 60 tracks in one single trackway that this dinosaur left behind 110 to 113 million years ago when this was a shallow inland sea. And so they were just walking through very thick, sticky mud, and it did a really good job of preserving their tracks. The river is kind of a double-edged sword. If there was no river, we would never have found tracks because that's what has cut down through the layers of, of silt and limestone and sediment to, to expose the tracks. Limestone was such fine-grained limestone that it left a lot of detail from the feet of the acro that walked through there. And so you can see things like you know the, the uh, pads on, the, on, the, on their feet things that you don't expect to see in a dinosaur track that's that old, 113 million years. It gives me this really deep sense of connection to the resources, to the history, to, to deep time. It, it's not some movie monster. It's not some creature that, you know, from, from fantasy, it is an animal that walked through this area. Um, and it just makes it seem really real to me.